Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn With Me. I'm Deborah Hansen, and today we're going to look at AP Psychology 5.1, Introduction to Health Psychology. This particular section of five, Unit 5 has four CED questions, so there'll be four separate videos for 5.1, one for each of the CED questions and all their essential knowledge. So before we get started, thank you so much to everybody who's liked and subscribed the channel. Really appreciate it. Love seeing the numbers go up, and the comments have been great as well, so please keep that going. i um, really like to hear from you guys. Okay, let's get started. So here's a list of all the key terms for 5.1. 5.1, the entire 5.1, so not just this uh, specific CED question. That's on a separate video with the in, uh, definitions and examples to help you learn them so that you can apply them on test day. So the first CED question for 5.1 is explain how health psychology addresses issues of physical health and wellness as they apply to behavior and mental processes. So I'm going to break that all down for you with all the essential knowledge the College Board wants you to know for test day. So remember, all those key terms you're learning, all the information, that's so that on test day, you can apply to your MCQs, your FRQs, everything you need to know. Now, if you want the full slideshow with all the information, study notes, everything, workbook, um, you'll find the link below to my teacher paid teacher store for all the unit five information, but I also have all the units available for you um, if you need that for studying. Okay, let's get started. So have you ever wondered why some people stay healthy while others are always getting sick or why stress seems to make some illnesses worse? Well, that's exactly what health psychology explores. So in this video, I'm going to break down the key concepts of of health psychology to help you ace that IP, AP psychology exam. Okay, so let's start off with what is health psychology? Health psychology is the study of how biological, psychological, and social factors influence physical health, wellness, and illness. It's not just about treating diseases. It's about understanding how our behaviors, thoughts, and social environment affect our overall well-being. So here are the key focus areas, how behaviors and mental processes impact health, and how stress, lifestyle, and coping strategies influence wellness. So why does this matter? Well, health psychology helps us to understand why people make healthy or unhealthy choices and how mental states like stress, anxiety, and optimism can affect physical health. It's used to promote preventative care, encourage healthy behaviors, and even improve medical treatments. Did you know that your daily habits have direct impact on your physical health? Whether it's smoking, diet, or exercise, your behavior plays a major role in determining how healthy or unhealthy you're going to be. Let's look at how specific behaviors affect our physical health and what health psychology can do to help. So let's first of all look at some examples of unhealthy behaviors. So let's start with maybe like smoking. That increases your risk of lung disease and cancer or a poor diet leads to obesity, heart disease and diabetes. Lack of exercise weakens your immune functions and overall fitness. And how does that connect to mental processes? Well, it's not just about physical actions. Our thoughts and emotions also play a huge role. Stress, stress and anxiety can lead to unhealthy coping mechanisms like overeating, smoking, and substance abuse. On the flip side, optimism and a positive mental attitude can encourage healthier habits like regular exercise and balanced eating. So let's look at health psychology interventions. So how do we fix all of these unhealthy habits? Well, health psychology focuses on behavior changes strategies like, for example, stress management techniques like meditation or deep breathing. It encourages healthy eating and balanced nutrition. It promotes regular physical activity and lifestyle changes. So your thoughts and behaviors are powerful when it comes to your health. Have you ever felt so stressed you literally get sick? Maybe you start getting headaches or you can't sleep or maybe even catch colds. Well, that's not just in your head. Stress actually has real effects on your body, your behavior, and your mind. And we're going to break down how stress impacts health and the best way to manage it. We're going to start with physiological effects of stress. So when we experience stress, our body activates the fight or flight response. And this is great for short-term survival, but when stress becomes chronic, it can really start to hurt us. So let's talk about what's happening inside our bodies when we're really stressed. First of all, your cortisol increases. That's your stress hormone, and that leads to inflammation and a weaker immune system. Secondly, you have high blood pressure and heart disease. The stress keeps your body in an alert state, and that puts a lot of strain on your heart. And lastly, you may have a weakened immunity. Ever notice that you get sick more often when you're stressed? That's because the stress reduces your abilities, your body's ability to fight off illnesses. Now let's look at the behavioral impact of stress. 
So stress doesn't just affect the body. It also affects how we act. So maybe we start adapting unhealthy coping mechanisms. People will smoke or drink or overeat to manage stress, which actually makes your health problems worse. Or maybe you may start having sleep problems. Stress can keep you awake all night, leading to fatigue and difficulty concentrating. And lastly, it's the perception of stress that matters. If you view stress as overwhelming, it has a stronger negative impact. But if you see it as a challenge, you can manage it better. Better. So let's look at some strategies to address stress. First of all, we can try relaxation techniques, mindfulness and meditation. That helps calm the nervous system and lower your cortisol. Deep breathing exercises reduces tension and promotes relaxation. And let's start looking at some healthy coping strategies. For example, exercise. Physical activity releases endorphins. Those are the body's natural stress relievers. Or looking at social support, talking to friends, family, a therapist. That can help you process all the emotions you're feeling. And lastly, it's all about time management. Organizing tasks can reduce overwhelming and increase, oh, sorry, oh, reduce all the overwhelmingness that you're feeling and increase your productivity. So stress is a normal part of life, but if we don't manage it, it can seriously harm our health. So the good news is there are science-backed ways to handle stress and keep your mind and body healthy. So have you also noticed that when you're feeling happy and motivated, you have more energy or that when you're stressed or sad, you might get sick more easily. That's because the mind and body are connected. So we're going to break down how mental processes influence physical health and why psychology plays a key role in overall wellness. Let's start with these psychological factors and health. Our thoughts and emotions don't just affect our mood. They also have a direct impact on our physical health. So having a positive mental state, this is optimism and social support. Studies show that people with a positive outlook and strong social connections recover faster from illness and have a stronger immune function. Happiness and relaxation, that lowers your stress levels and reduces risks of disease like heart conditions and high blood pressure. But having a negative mental state, that leads to depression and loneliness. It can weaken the immune system, increase inflammation, and even raise the risk of chronic diseases like heart disease or chronic stress and anxiety. This leads to higher cortisol levels, which contributes to fatigue, digestive issues, and heart problems. So think about this. Your mindset and emotions don't just affect how you feel mentally, but they impact your physical health also. So we're going to talk a little bit about the placebo effect. This is the power of belief. One of the best examples of the mind-body connection is the placebo effect. So what is it? If a person believes a treatment will work, even if it's just a sugar pill, it can actually produce real physical improvements in their health. So why does this happen? Well, our brain releases chemicals that mimic the effect of actual medicine, reducing symptoms like pain and fatigue. So for example, studies show that patients who believe they are receiving pain medication actually experience pain relief even if they only took a sugar pill. So now we're going to look at cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. This is changing thoughts to improve health. This is another powerful way psychology influences our health. So let's talk about what is CBT. It's a psychological treatment that helps people identify and change negative thought patterns. How does it help and why, what's it used for, right? It's used for chronic pain management. So it helps patients reframe how they experience pain, reducing discomfort. It focuses on anxiety and stress reduction. It teaches healthy coping strategies. And it, manage, it works in managing chronic illnesses. It helps patients develop a healthier mindset and habits to improve their well-being. Let's think about this as a key takeaway here. Our thoughts and emotions shape our health, and psychology-based therapies can be powerful tools for healing. So the mind and body are deeply connected, and science proves that we, we, what we think and feel influences our physical health. So whether it's staying positive, managing stress, or practicing mindfulness, taking care of your mind means also taking care of your body. So let's summarize a little bit of everything we've been learning so far. So we've been talking about health psychology in action. So health psychology helps individuals understand and address behaviors and mental processes that impact physical health. Think about that first CED question we talked about, right? Here's some key takeaways. Health psychology promotes positive behavior changes. For example, exercise, healthy, balanced diet, positive mindset, reduces harmful mental 
states like chronic stress, and it encourages strategies for maintaining physical wellness and improving your quality of life. So on a final note, by understanding the mind-body connection, individuals can make healthier choices that benefit both mental and physical well-being. So that's all the essential knowledge you need to know for CD question number one of 5.1. So the CD question was explain how health psychology addresses issues of physical health and wellness as they apply to behavior and mental processes. So if you found that helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button for me. Really appreciate you guys doing that. And it, apparently it helps me. I'm not sure exactly how the whole YouTube thing works. As you can see by my channel, my videos are kind of basic, but hopefully you're finding these helpful. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for listening. See you next time.